Um, okay, so we were talking about how you went, you started letting your hair go gray last August, 2019. Yes. Correct. And so how do you feel? Because it's so... I love it. It's I so... Love it. How cool is it when you see the silver and then you see the old dye color? Yeah, I'm like, what was I doing for it's, all these years? Isn't that funny? I love it. But I mean, the reason I was doing it was because people were telling me, you're, you're going to look old, it's not going to look good on you. And I'm like, well, I'm no, I'm no spring chicken. Right. Hello, I'm freaking 54 years old. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to do it. So this is the part where what everybody wants to avoid. Like this. Yes, I know. All of this, right? So there's like a decomarcation. Exactly. But I think that is like the most beautiful part. You know, I do too. I do too. I mean, it's it just goes with the flow and it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not hiding it anymore. Hey ladies, welcome back to my Fierce Aging for 2020. So today I have Claudia in the studio. She's 54 years old and she is wanting to play with color but not so sure. She has a beautiful, beautiful skin tone that's a little bit darker and I was like, let's create here. You know, this whole thing about you know, I can't wear a certain color. I can't wear bright lips after after a certain age. And I'm here to break all of those rules for you. I'm going to show you a beautiful palette using our effortless palette. And I'm going to show you two different lip colors. And ladies, let's get this beauty started. So I'm going to start off with prepping Claudia's face. I'm going to use a little of the Caudalie. This is the micellar water. It has antioxidants, grape seed, and also, or grape water. And it has the chamomile. It's such a beautiful cleanser for the face. I like how it preps and makes the face feel really nice and fresh. I'm taking a little H2O Plus. This is a hydration for sensitive skin. It's a gel cream moisturizer. It's made in Japan. I wanted something that was going to be light and really hydrating for Claudia's face. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this out and apply it to her whole face. I'm going to take my foundation brush to apply this, but you can apply it with your hands. It's just easier for me when I'm working on my guests here in the studio to use the foundation brush. But this is my essential makeup brush kit. Eight brushes, 100% vegan. I designed them for you for travel to be very simple and easy. You don't need 100 brushes. You just need the right ones to be able to put on your eyeshadow, to put on your foundation. And I have a video um, that I'll link right up here that I just showed you how to wash your brushes very simply. You don't need a lot of gadgets. It's a actually like the cheapest way to do it. So I'm going to just take my foundation brush and I'm going to put on the moisturizer. And I'm going to take a little eye cream, which is from Caudalie also, the Premier Crew. This is one of my favorite eye creams because it goes nicely into the skin. It doesn't sit on the skin. It's very highly moisturizing. And I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm going to just apply this to Claudia's eyes. Now, prepping the skin is very important, ladies, because you want to have a hydrated, moisturized skin. So think about it. If your skin's dry, flaky, and, you know, looking very dehydrated, that's exactly how your foundation is going to look. So I first do this on the skin, hydration, plumping the skin, filling in fine lines and wrinkles. And then what I like to do, I do this all the time. I do this throughout the whole entire day. I like to kind of spritz my face with a hydrator. And Derma E sent me a bunch of their different um, different ones like mood elevators, which I thought was really cool. This is Uplift. This is a skin beneficial mist, mood enhancing. I always like mood enhancing, right? Mm -hmm. So in the morning you're like, okay, what, what mood? They have calm and this one's Uplift. This has citrus waters, coconut essence, witch hazel. So I thought I am going to use this today. So I'm gonna uplift you before I do your makeup. Close your eyes. Mm, it smells good too. It's so nice. It's just like it's these refreshing. are it's refreshing. Yes. It's really nice because you can do this throughout the day, throw it in your bag. I like to do it. You know, I just like my skin to be like feeling hydrated and it's like a little pick me up. All right. So first and foremost, I do the eyes first. That is just kind of like my process that doing the eyes first, I'm going to prime them with my eye and lip primer. This is something that I've been using for nine, 10 years now. I cannot do makeup without it because it really 
kind of neutralizes the eye for redness, darkness. It sets my eyelid up for the eyeshadow, so it's not gonna compete with the colors. So if I had really dark eyelids, sometimes I have, you know, some mornings it is a lot darker, and then I'm gonna put on an eyeshadow and it's gonna mix in with that color. I want a true color for my eyeshadows. So I'm gonna start off with my eye and lip primer. I'm gonna take my concealer brush. And what's important with this product, ladies, is that you do a nice sheer veil. You don't go crazy and pile up. This is not the kind of product. You want to either tap with your finger and go to your eyelid and just push it in. I'm gonna show you two ways. Let's do it first with my finger. I'm tapping in to the eye and lip primer. Close your eye. I'm gonna go and I'm going to just work this into the skin from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone. So if you're you know, a woman that loves to feel the product and really get it in there with your fingers, this is a great way to apply the eye and lip primer. Now, if you like to have more of a precise and working with a, a brush, you can just take the concealer brush. You're gonna go into the concealer, uh, the eye and lip primer, just coat up the, the actual brush, and then you're gonna sweep it across your eyelid. Again, lash line all the way up to the brow bone. And then you can use your finger to just make sure it's nice and seamless. You're gonna see how nicely primed and uniformed the eyelids are right now with having the eye primer on them. So the, the eyeshadow palette that I decided to pick out for Claudia is called Effortless. And it's in this bronzy, it's really beautiful, and she said that you usually wear bronze yes. colors and everything like that. So I thought this was a really pretty, very, very um, flattering eyeshadow with her coloring. So I'm going to take the eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into the middle color. I'm going to press this in. So you're gonna pick up a lot of the eyeshadow, but you wanna make sure that you're not getting too much on the brush because they are highly pigmented. So you're going to take from the, the palette, you're gonna go over to the eye and you're going to go from the lash line just down here. See how I'm pressing it in? I'm not going like this. I think that is a very big mistake when you're trying to just have a very nice, beautiful look. If you're if you're moving the, the shadow all over the place, you're not going to get a really nice concentrated look and it's going to not be where you want the, the actual eyeshadow. So I like to press it into the eye. I like to work right here on the lid, working my way up. So I put most of the color there and then I start diffusing the color for the rest of the eyelid. Now, if you open your eye, so her eye here, you see there's a fold that starts right there. I don't want this color going above there because I'm gonna use the contour color to do that. I'm gonna give it some nice depth. I wanna recede that little area. So I'm just going on her lid right below the crease. I'm gonna go into the darkest color here with my shading brush. This is a very short bristled brush. I'm gonna go in so I can start making a little bit of dimension on her eye. So I'm gonna go right into the corner here. I'm just gonna start placing the product. I'm not going to go too crazy with the product, with the darkness. I don't want you to get scared. It's really about building and not feeling, you don't wanna to go too much. You just wanna put enough and then start working with the product. You can always go back, you can always add more. So I'm just gonna start with the eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna blend and start working this product, the eyeshadow into the crease. And you can actually open your eye. You can go right into the crease when your eyes open. So you can kinda of see where you're actually blending the product. So with this color, I am going a little bit higher here on this brow bone. So basically what I wanna do is, I don't wanna highlight this part of her eye, so I'm going in with a darker color. And the reason why is like what I just said, when you have a darker color, it's going to recede, it's gonna push back. So if you have eyes where you have more um, of a lid coming down or you have puffiness, you want that to recede. So you don't wanna put a highlighter or a lighter color on your eyelid like that. You wanna recede so you use a darker contour color. 
Now you can go back and take the middle color if you feel that you want to pop the lids a little bit more once you've started blending. So maybe you want to have a little bit more right in here and not have the dark color coming over so much. You can do that. Just I'm going to take the shading brush, go in with the lightest color and blend them all together. All right, so I'm going to take dark chocolate, which is my eyeliner pencil, and I'm going to, it's nice and waterproof creamy, so this is going to be very easy to apply. I'm going to go just right into her lash line. Look down. I'm just going to go right into her lash line and thicken up this lash line, really give her some nice definition to her eyes, but I'm not making a very thick line. That's a, This is a really, really nice kind of makeup artist trick to get your lash line looking thicker. You feel how creamy it is? So it yes. just like glides. Exactly. It doesn't drag your skin. No. Yeah, that's the worst when you feel that and then your mm -hmm. eyes get all red. Just gonna do a little bit underneath the eye so I can balance it all out. And then what I really like to do is I just go in kind of three quarters and then I'll take the brush and really kind of smooth out this concentration of the eyeliner. Just kind of take the short shading brush and I just like to nicely just go and give it a little bit of smudging underneath so it's soft. And remember ladies, I'm starting with the eyes first. So of course the, the concealer is not done, the foundation is not done. It's like, oh my gosh, eyes, it looks so much. It w looks that way because I do it the reverse way. Most people that you see on YouTube are doing a full face, everything's perfect, perfect canvas, and then they do the eyes. I do it opposite. So everything always looks stronger until I pull it together. I'm going to take my skinny brow pencil in medium brown and it has a spoolie on one end. It has a beautiful, nice, very small, uh, pigment on the other side so you can get those beautiful little hair strokes. It's really, really nice. If you have a big waxy pencil, it's very hard to get nice natural strokes. So she has beautiful brows. They're a little sparse in the front, like most of us. So basically I'm taking it from the base of her brow and I'm just kind of making the hair strokes. So I'm just going to fill in for her. I'm not adding a darker color. I'm basically going in with the same color of her brows and then I can see it, I can take the spoolie and just disperse the color so it looks really nice and natural. I'm going to be taking my Nicole Cosmetics. This is an intense lash, has a very creamy formulation for the mascara. It has a beautiful, beautiful wand that picks up. It's like curved, so it picks up every single lash and you can get the bottom lashes without getting this all over your face. So this is wonderful, great for contact wearers, great for sensitive eyes. This is gonna give you lots of volume, curl, and I just love that it's a creamy formulation so you're not having it kind of clump or kind of get too much on the eyes. I go to the base of the, the lashes and then I go to the top. So I go to the base, kind of go back and forth and then to the top. First though, let's not forget, we wanna do a little bit of curl. So I'm gonna go in with my Shuamora eyelash curler first. We're going to curl Claudia's lashes just to get a little bend there first. So of course I'm going to be applying false lashes because it's going to make the look just that much more elevated. And I'm using the Naked Lashes in 421. These are gonna be a little bit longer than the 420s and they're going to come out on the side, which I really love. I think these are gonna look so beautiful. They're gonna give her just enough fringe and they're natural enough to be able to just pull the look together but not feel like, oh my gosh, I have lashes on. Right. I'm also using my iDuo eyelash adhesive. This is something you can get on Amazon. I link everything below the video. You just have to click on the drop the box down and this is something that is the best glue to be using I you know you got to be really careful about the, the glues that you do use around the eye 
and this is the only one I feel that you should be using. If you do have a latex or a um, sensitivity to eyelash glues, they do have formaldehyde free and also latex free. I don't find that they hold well at all, but there are options for you. So this is such a beautiful lash. This just looks, this is what I really like is the fringe part of it. So we have our beautiful mascara on, what have you. We could, you know, take the lash curler and go again on this lash to give more curl, but this just gives you that elevated look. It makes your lash line look darker. It's just a very beautiful, very natural look, but it's enhanced. So pretty. They just come up, they just pull the whole look together. It looks really nice. And I'm gonna just take the, uh, dark chocolate liner and I'm just gonna go across the top so if I see any like if there's any glue or anything that's not making my line really nice and just defined I just go right over it another trick that's really great to do if you have any redness or darkness around the rim of the eye I have a white pencil this is a white coal pencil so again it's gonna be nice and soft too I'm just going to warm it up a little bit on my hand and then in the inner water line this is a great little trick to make the eye look a little bit more open and whiter. This is one of my favorite tricks to do because it takes out any of that redness in the inner rim. And it makes her eyes look, look a little bit open and wide, pretty, it's just really nice. So the eyes are complete, but now I can clean up underneath. If there's any shadow that fell, I can just whisk away nice and clean. So I don't have to worry about anything that wasn't perfect. And then I'm gonna go right into color correcting with my brightener. This is an eye brightener. It's part of my color correction family. It's gonna be a little bit peachy. So the darkness is going to be elevated. It's going to be kind of corrected before I do my foundation and my concealer. So I'm gonna go right to the corner of the eye. I'm gonna work this in with my hand afterwards, but I'm just gonna go right underneath the eye and come down. I like to taper it off because if you think about it, ladies, if I just applied it like this, you're gonna have a ring around the eye. That doesn't look natural. So if you literally just applied your concealer or your corrector like this, that's what's gonna look like. You're gonna just have this kind of demarcation and if you apply it like this, coming down, spreading it out so it looks more natural, it's going to be a lot better of a color correction than it is if you do it just in one area like that. I'm gonna be taking the Warm Front Concealer Wheel. This is a trio of creamy concealers, and it's really nice because you can really customize your concealer every morning. And it, sometimes we're darker, sometimes we might have a blemish, sometimes we might have a remnants of a blemish that we wanna cover up. And I like that you have options and you can be creative instead of having one color of a concealer. So I'm going to just do the same. I'm gonna create a special color for Claudia right now, according to what's going on. And then I'm going to apply the same way I did with the, the color corrector, the eye brightener, is I'm gonna just come down straight. I'm really concentrating on the darkest part here and I'm blending out. I think it's really important that we try to not mask our face, cover up, you know, makeup should not walk in the door before you do. And, you know, I'm not doing theatrical makeup, I'm not covering and blanching out the skin. I want to see the skin through. It needs to look natural. And this is how I do that by, you know, tapering off and really working with the skin, working with color correction, using good products that really do a lot of the work for me. So I'm not having to like overdo it with my makeup. Another great thing is you can take this around the nose if you have any redness with the concealer. If you have just little pigmentations, you can go with a lighter color and just hit them with your concealer brush and then work them in with your finger and then you can go over with your foundation. So it just gives it a little bit more coverage. I'm gonna take my HD foundation. This is a liquid foundation from my company. I don't have it online right now, but um, if you're in the studio, come in the studio, you can definitely be color matched. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm going to apply this to Claudia's skin. Now, if you want to use your hands, you can get a nice sheer or a more of a sheer application. If you want more medium to full coverage, you can use a brush. 
This is gonna warm up her skin. I want to really give her really a beautiful, flawless look with the foundation. It's important to basically not stop right at the jawline. You wanna take the foundation underneath and down on the neck so it all blends nicely. You have a nice uniform from the face to the neck. Now I have a video coming up that's talking about matching your foundation colors and how to pick and do you match your neck or do you match your face. And it's really important if you want your decollete to be included also, you want to do a body foundation because you don't want to transfer. Like if I was wearing this and I had a lot of pigmentation on my chest and I had a V-neck and it's white, you don't want to be using foundation. It will transfer all over your shirt. You want a body foundation. I'm going to go in with a little HD translucent powder just to kind of in the T-zone area, kind of give her a beautiful just setting powder. You don't necessarily have to use a setting powder if you don't want to. If you want more of a dewier finish, you can just leave it alone. I like to set the foundation though um, after I do it. Okay. Now, before we do the cheeks, I'm gonna do a little waterproof lip liner using Organza, and then I'm gonna go in with a lip gloss, and this is a new lip gloss for spring called Rosese, and I have it on myself right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful color, and I'm going to just define her lips. This is a really great lip liner that you can wear all over your lips too and just put a gloss on if you wanted to for more staying power. It's, still, it's going to moisturize, it's not gonna dry out your lips. It smells good. I know, doesn't it? You can smell mm -hmm. the vanilla. Right. All right, so we have the lips on and now we're gonna do a classic beach with a bronzer and a beautiful peachy cheek. It has a little bit of sheen to it. You have a highlighter here if you wanna use that. But Claudia wanted to know how to kind of make her face look a little bit more angled and not so round. So I'm going to show you, when we go to do the bronzer, turn your face to the side. So you go to do the bronzer, you're gonna to go to the top of the ear and come down. So we wanna create a little bit more of that definition for Claudia in her cheek, where her cheekbones are. So it gives her that, remember again, darker color is gonna recede. So it's going to recede and give her a little bit more sculpting on her face. This is nice, it's a universal bronzer, it's matte. So we're gonna go just to the tip of her ear and come down. And I'm gonna go right in with the peachy blush right into the center and I'm gonna marry the two. So I'm going to just start a little bit further off the cheek and come up. You wanna lift up when it comes to giving a little bit more of a sculpting to the face, not too much here on the apple. I'm coming up right here. And now we're going to give Claudia a mirror so she can see what she looks like. So ready. <laughs> All right, so let's see what you think. Turn to the side a little bit like that. It doesn't even, look, well, it looks not like me, but mm -mm, it's beautiful. It's so light and subtle. It's nice. It looks pretty. Yes. Do you like the pretty. lips? I like the lips, yes. I do. It's not like no clashy. No. Yeah. So now I wanted to just see what it looked like to put cocktail party on her because I love that color. So I'm going to do, it's a high gloss. It is more of a tomato red. And I thought, you know what, let's just look and see. She's used to wearing just neutral. And I thought, you know what, we're going to bump it up when you're in my chair today. We're going to bump it up and just see what it looks like and see what we think. And write in the comments below, do you like more of the natural lip or do you like more of a beautiful cocktail party stronger lip? I like sometimes to just come down a little bit so it's not just like the liner kind of fills in the lip a little bit. So you can kind of blend that lipstick with the lip liner.
really nice thing to do after you put on, you can define your lips a little bit more. So you have a really nice, perfect application. You're, I can see her, she's cheating because she can see in that mirror over there. I can see her looking and seeing. Okay, so take a look I'm and see. I'm just so curious. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like, what you think. Oh, geez, completely so different. That so what good. do you ladies think? I, you know, person, you know what I think, of course. I think it looks, I mean, think about a, like wearing a little black dress and going to a cocktail party. And, you know, I think that she looks stunning walking in with more of a powerful lip. She still has the neutral eyes, so it's not like she's competing with anything, but it just gives her, you can see this because you can rewind the, the video. You can see how the first one's very natural and it's really just very approachable. And then you switch it to a little bit more of a bolder lip. It totally changes your personality. You have more confidence. And, you know, this is different for you though, but it you, is. it's so pretty. It is. The lashes and the yeah. lip and everything. But again, it's still very natural. This is not like, oh my gosh, what did she do? It's like, wow, that's really beautiful. She has darker skin. We worked with this, this kind of red being a high gloss, but also more of a tomato, tomato red, not so much of a bright, bright, solid, crazy over the top red. Mm -hmm. So I think exactly. it looks, yeah, I think it looks beautiful. I, I look put together. Yes. Yes. See how up. one lipstick can put you together, ladies. You could wear nothing, mascara, and just put a lip on and you're ready to go. So yes, are, you yes. are you happy it, you tried it? It's beautiful, yes, I am. Super excited. I think it looks great. Yeah. yeah. I better see you wearing this. It, <laughs> it's different. Yeah, it's definitely different. I've never ever wore color on my lips. And you know how to get used to that. It's like when you're around the house, put it on and then see how you feel. Right. You know, get used to it. Get used to seeing yourself in the mirror with it on. Right. Instead of you go to an event and you're like, oh my gosh, I just put this on for the first time. <laughs> exactly, right? yes. Uh -huh. All right, so ladies. 54 rocking a red lip, looking gorgeous. And until my next video, I'll see you later.